Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And as you could tell, I feel like that's such a cliche that YouTubers say. But anyway, as you can tell by the title, we're gonna talk about how I became a full-time tarot reader. We knocked the storm off the top of the rider weight. All started back in 20, 2018, I believe. Some of y'all may know this part of my story already, but back in 2018, I got a divorce <laughs> from my first marriage. And this story I'm telling y'all ties into how I became a full-time reader. But anyway, I got a divorce. At the time, my ex-husband and I, we were stationed up in the DMV area. I was far away from my family in Arkansas. And basically, I had started to go to a crystal shop or a spiritual store i would go there like once every week from the time that my divorce process started to the time that i moved because it was just uncomfortable to be living there with my ex-husband and going through that and i didn't have any family with me and so i would go to this crystal store and you know buy different things to help heal me and protect me and my son's energy during that time one day i flew my aunt up to dc to help me drive back home help me and my son drive back home and she wanted to go to that store y'all this is how the universe works because that day i literally did not bring my wallet i didn't plan on buying anything i was just going to take her as we're walking out i had this really weird experience where i felt like i wasn't in control of my body like i don't know what happened but i just walk over to the tarot section and all i remember is i was in like a trance and i kept like looking through all the the tarot decks that they had and so i found one that i really liked and my aunt bought it for me mind you i had gotten tarot readings done on myself by other people at that point but i never touched a tarot card i didn't think i knew how to read them but something just drew me to that section so we get home I open up the deck I don't know how I do not know how but when I open it I immediately knew how to read the cards I don't know how I just knew how to read them and so that day I start or for the next two days I start calling on my friends on FaceTime doing readings on them I don't know how I do not know how this was not my first deck by the way I'll show it to y'all I don't know how like I, I just knew how to read them. So after a couple of days, I said, you know what? I love this, it's really cool. I'm gonna make this legit. And so I go, I get my LLC, I legitimize myself right away. And then I was posting on Facebook. I had Instagram at the time, but I just used it to post some of my selfies. And so I go on Facebook, I'm posting daily messages all the time and people are booking their readings through Facebook. I think it was about a month in. I was charging about $20 and I was sending them through video. So people would message me on Facebook. I would have them pay. I would send them a video message and that was that. And so many people began to come to me. I got my first deck of cards in June of 2018 and that's whenever I started doing everything. By August, I had so many people coming to me that I really couldn't keep up. So at this point, I gave me a website. I was working. I had moved back to Arkansas in June. And um, by trade, my career is a registered medical assistant. So I had my job at the orthopedic office. I would do during the day. And then on nights and weekends, I would do my readings. So anyway, I get my website up. And this time, I gave myself a schedule. So instead of doing everything through video, I would actually get on the phone with people. So I would have a couple of days a week where people could book and i would just look on my schedule call whoever was scheduled that day do the readings and then i would do it all day on saturday all day i did that for a minute and the moment i, I opened up my website i immediately started getting booked out for like a month two months in advance right away right away so then i think i upped my price a little bit and then i decided that i wanted to do them in person so i go get me an office I got me a little office space or whatever and I would work Monday through Friday at my, my doctor's office job. In the evenings, I would do my phone call readings. I was still posting on, on Facebook and at this point, I did start to post on Instagram 
and then I would go every Saturday from 8 p.m. or 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. or sometimes later I would take my laptop, my tarot cards, my little work bag and some snacks and I would sit in my office day in and day out like working on content, having people coming and getting in-person readings for me and um, that is really how I began to grow was from people in my hometown, on Facebook, doing in-person readings and from a ton of referrals and people that kept coming back to me. So and like I said, everything happened so quick. I started doing that in June by August and it's whenever I was getting so busy that I had to have a website and immediately started getting booked up like crazy. And then I believe it was in September that I went and got that office and I had that for a little bit. After that, I knew immediately, I knew I had to do it full time. I knew that was my dream. I didn't care what I had to do. I was gonna do it full time. So I devised a plan. This is in September or October where I decided that I was gonna quit my job in 2019. By the way, I wanna let y'all know this too. At this time, I was living with my parents because I was still going through my divorce. And if you've ever been through that, I had to get back on my feet. So I had a plan, quit my job in 2019. And at that same time, I knew that I wanted to move to another city. I just did not know where at the time for the next few months i'm just going crazy i'm booking like crazy i'm networking i'm putting myself out there i did begin to start focusing more on instagram and i just really allowed myself to grow i wasn't afraid of anything and then during that time i did become a reiki practitioner and a reiki master as well all i remember is i told myself at least before i quit because if you're new here i have a son he's six he's almost seven and you know i was a single mom back in the day and all i told myself was you know what i at least want to have some money saved up i want to quit by january i want to have money saved up enough for me to be able to quit and i want to move at the time so let me tell y'all my job's going crazy me and my boss really disliked each other a lot like me and her could not stand each other at that job and what happened was January was rolling around January 2019 when I was supposed to quit my job and I wasn't prepared my car was old and broke down I had no money okay because I kept trying to save and different stuff kept coming up I had daycare I still had other bills even though I was staying with my parents and my business was still doing amazing and I did have the job but the job it didn't pay me much and like I said Things kept popping up for me. So yeah, I didn't have any money come January. I had like, what, $2,000, $3,000 in my bank account. So December comes, I get a phone call from a person that I had networked with and they said, hey, we are hosting a gifting suite at this event in Atlanta. We want you to come. However, you have to pay $1,000 for your vending spot. But if you don't know what a gifting suite is, Basically, it's whenever there's an event where celebrities are going to be there and you give them your product for free and you network. Although I was trying to quit my job and I already didn't have much money, I said, you know what? I have to do this. I have to do this. So I paid the thousand dollars for the vending fee. I had to pay for Airbnb. I had to pay to get down there to Atlanta. I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do that. And um, it's fine. It's a little bit of a loss, but it's gonna be okay it's gonna pay off for me and at that time because the event was in January 2019 when I wanted to quit my job but I was not ready so I told myself I'm gonna go to the event I'm gonna network I'm gonna meet me some celebrities and put my name out there and have this experience and then I'm gonna come back to my job and I'm gonna quit whenever I'm ready y'all why did my boss tell me basically she let me know look if you go and you miss work you don't have a job so i quit i just quit like i didn't know what to do like i paid my thousand dollar vending fee to be at that event i didn't have any money really i was scared single mom I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how things were going to work, but I knew that I definitely had to quit that job because you're not going to tell me that I cannot go after my dreams. Okay. All right. I come first. My dreams come first. The job comes second. So I had to choose myself. And I remember the day that 
me and my boss had that conversation and I knew I just had to quit. I was crying. Oh, I was crying my eyes. I was, I was so terrified. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I did that. So anyway, I go on to Atlanta. I did the event. I met Jermaine Dupree and a bunch of other people. I got to do readings for some reality TV stars and some other people that you all know. And it was really a beautiful experience and it changed my life. And after that, I came home with my heart so full and a couple of weeks later, I packed up my little 2002 Chevrolet Suburban or whatever I had, my little 2002 Chevy truck. I packed up all of my belongings from my parents' home and I drove down to Dallas where I live now <laughs> and I moved in with my best friend and I stayed with her for a couple of months and I just did my thing as a full-time reader and I, I kind of hoped that it would work out for me. Once I got here, y'all, like... <laughs> That was a whole other experience, but I remember whenever I moved into my first apartment in Dallas, this is a couple of months after I got here. When I moved into that first apartment, I was of course still full time, but at this point, I only had $300 in my bank account. Why? Because somehow I had gotten back up to $2,000 and then I spent half of that on a vending machine and that didn't work for me, so I lost that money. And then I had to pay like 700 to move into my first place. And so anyway, I moved, moved into my first place here with nothing but $300 and nothing, no furniture, no nothing. And by the way, y'all, my tarot reading business, it was doing great the whole time. But like I said, I have a kid, financial stuff kept popping up. And um, I was just having a hard time with money management. That's why I hadn't really saved a lot during that time. So I, I didn't know how to manage money like that, okay? It's just, and I went through a big transition, a big move, all of that. So I moved in there, $300 to my name, nothing. And I really just kept at it. I mean, for a little bit, it was for a couple of months, I did go back and I got a job at a hospital. I worked in the lab, it was a really cool job. But I worked in the lab for a little bit. I didn't need to because I was doing so well with this, but I did it because I think I just had a little bit of fear that crept in. Then I quit that job very quickly because I was like, nope, we're going to stay as being a full-time entrepreneur. And so this grew, my social media grew. I kept just, you know, doing my thing with this and growing. And, you know, I got to a place where I started doing really well. You know, I had my first six figures. Everything ended up working out for me. I'm getting to a place where I'm close to, what, three years doing this full time and everything's great. Like, I just cannot describe how blessed I am and how happy I am with how everything turned out for me. And it was definitely a struggle at time. As y'all heard, I had to take a couple of risks. There's times where I didn't have money. It was very stressful. It really was, but I'm so blessed because spirit takes care of me for walking in my purpose and doing what I'm supposed to do and really not being afraid. What I will say is that if you want to become a full-time tarot reader, depending on your situation, because everybody's completely different, but I will say, don't let money deter you, okay? Whenever I did quit my job, I think that I was making about $1,500 a month consistently with this. But keep in mind that I was only doing it part-time because I had a job. So my income from this matched my income from work. And at that point I knew that it was okay. I didn't care whenever I quit my job, I didn't care. Money is not really a big deal to me, it's really not. Like I live a very modest life, even though I make you know six figures and everything, I live a very modest life. And so it wasn't about me like, I need to make you know $5,000, I didn't care. As long as I was making enough money that supplemented the income that I was getting from my job, where I could pay my bills, that's all that mattered to me. What I notice is as long as you can replace your income with your business, in many cases, you're gonna be okay. Is it a risk? Yes. Do you have a lot of stability? Probably not in the beginning until you start getting money saved up. Is it scary sometimes? Yes, it can be done, y'all. And people love to think, well, you have to have a big following on social media to do this. No, you don't. When I quit my job to do this full time, I had like two or 3,000 followers on Instagram. That's it. But I was doing well enough with this because word of mouth and I was putting myself out there.
you know you don't have to have all the followers and all the likes and stuff people that vibe with you are going to find you and that's it your people are going to find you so that is my story about how i became a full-time tarot reader going on three years it might be three years by the time that y'all see the video and yeah i really encourage y'all no matter what you're trying to do whether you want to do tarot reiki um you know your your online spiritual shop whatever business you have i really encourage you to step out there and chase after your dreams because you don't know what you're meant like you never know what's in store like my life is literally waking up meditating journaling taking my kid to school messing with tarot cards all day and getting to talk on the phone with you all and make these beautiful connections and getting to help y'all and recording videos and doing it all over again and it's such a beautiful thing like i i genuinely cannot describe the amount of gratitude that i feel and i want all of y'all to chase your dreams as well all right i've been right there with you before i know it's stressful i know you have to make sacrifices i know it is just you know the thought of it can give you anxiety but i want y'all to live your dreams i i look at that knight of wands knight of wands if that's not confirmation for you to go do your thing i don't know what it is mr king of wands right here he says to subscribe to my channel so y'all can catch all the next videos. Bye.